on which I travel and I go. And I meet these incredible people who are well diggers, who are farmers, who use wastewater, who use sludge and, uh, and use it productively and make sure that the land is uh, fertile and green and make a living out of it. One of the projects that we are working on is uh, with a traditional well digging community called the Mandwaters. They are called the Boat Community in the north of uh, India. And this community has been digging wells and making lakes for the last 1000 years. For me, it was a discovery that there are 750 or more families in Bangalore still trying to carry on that tradition. And so one of the things that we could do is to make sure that these well diggers are integrated with policy. And how do you do that? I have the opportunity of writing the rainwater harvesting policy for the city of Bangalore. I sit as one of the members. And so we made sure that recharge wells was made mandatory as part of policy. That meant that there was enormous work unleashed for those who actually deserved it. Policy writing should keep in mind not just water security, but life goals. And therefore, now there are more than 100,000 wells which have been dug in Bangalore. There are 10,000 wells which have been cleaned, deepened, and made sure that there is water. And potentially, there will be 1 million wells in the city. The 1 million wells will mean that 750 families will have work, and the city will be water secure. It will not be a cave down. These are the kind of partnerships which we need to forge, not just in our cities, but in our villages, in our watersheds, in our river places. And that is the way that we are going to tackle the big challenge that is there for, uh, for water in our country. I am a mere reporter. I have the luck of carrying a mobile phone. I have the luck of being on Twitter, Facebook, and social media. But I make sure that it is not by luck that I sit on policy tables. I sit and make sure that the waste pot policy for Karnataka recognizes the use of untreated wastewater and treated wastewater by farmers. We make sure that the World Health Organization works on creating a sanitation safety plan so that the farmers' health is not at risk and that the environment is not at risk. These are the responsibilities that we need to take on together and there are a million people who are taking on together. So I thank with uh, uh, great humility and it's very embarrassing to see oneself on a video for one and a half minutes but thank you for making sure that the video was only one and a half minutes. It would have been unbearable otherwise. And thank you for the audience for this enormous uh, degree of knowledge that you bring and which has been part of the discussion for the last two days. It takes a lot amount of, of patience and fortitude to be listening to so many thoughts and processing it in our minds. We need not all be talkers, we need to be listeners also. And most importantly, we must be doers with a heart. And if you are able to manage policy, and practice on the ground with the very people whose livelihoods are at stake, I think this country can have enormous transformation. Thank you very much.